This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Welcome back to We'll Run For. This is your host, <laughs> Tom. And with me, as always, are Aaron. Hello. Michael. Wow. Okay, hello. I burped my um, coffee directly into that microphone when and, you started talking. And Diana. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We are. Well, I didn't expect you to actually go when I did it, that. It you count me so down, I'm going to go. <laughs> It was very aggressive. You count me down. I'm going to go. It's fine. Hello. Oh my God. Um, this is a continuation of the last episode, but today we're going to be focused solely on listener feedback coming out of the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend mm. slash dopey. Yep. Um, but before we jump into the feedback, which we got a lot of and we really appreciate, uh, I did want to mention that while we were down in Disney, Greg from Rise and Run Ugh, mentioned Greg. I know. Yeah. <sighs> he who must not be named. <laughs> Lord Voldemort basically was like, we should do another Peloton challenge. And that sounded good. Um, and then I had suggested maybe we do it for charity. So here it is. For the month of February, um, the Will Run For podcast and the Rise and Run podcast will each come up with a team of 10 Peloton bikers. It's got to be the same 10 the entire time. I mean, if something happens, you can change them out. But like the team is 10 and we're going to compete for the total cumulative mileage for the month of February. Um, and to kind of make this a little bit more interesting, um, we're going to have a buy-in of, I think we said $25 a person. So if you want to join the team, it's 25 bucks. Um, and what happens with that money is each of us is going to designate a charity. Um, I don't want to verify that just yet because I want to make sure we talk to Greg about that. Um, but the losing team will donate to the winning team's charity mm -hmm. um, at the end of it. So, you know, it gives us motivation to get on the bike, a little competition. And at the end of it, we make a donation to a charity. So... Um, we already have some interest on the Will Run Four side. I know they do on the Rise and Run side, um, but we will post on social media kind of how this all shakes out. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. And if you've already kind of committed to our team, thank you. Um, I'm very happy with who has expressed interest. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk early trash and say, Greg, we're going to take you guys down. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, Greg slid into our DMs the other day and tried to recruit me, Tom, before I even knew about the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny because that brings up my second announcement. Um, Bob is actually going to join us as a host moving forward. <laughs> um, I haven't really talked to him about this yet, but I feel like Bob, if you're listening, Coaching. if you'd like to come over and uh and and just, you know. Add your vocal chops to a um, <laughs> our little operation here. We would love to have you. <laughs> if, if, if not, you can uh, you can stay over there at the wildly successful Rise and Run podcast. Oh my god, <laughs> he would just be just infuriated with us. He would just. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I will say that Greg is a very nice person, yes, and we just like to troll him a lot. That's all. Yes. Uh, he, he was like, first of all, he, he was like, I'm humbled by the fact that you have decided that I <laughs> that we're just going to troll him. I am trollable. Well, he trolls us too. Okay, so it's, it's true. It's fair. It's, all, it's, it's fair. It's all fair. Oh my it's god! All fun. It's all in good fun, guys. Yeah. We don't think that Greg is actually a bad human. Oh my god! Don't, don't Just we? Just evil. <laughs> I don't know. I could, I could produce several text messages from you, Aaron, to the contrary, but that's a that's a different story. Um, no, we love our rise and run friends. We really do. Oh, so gosh. yeah, uh, it, Peloton challenge in February. Love it. It was funny after the. Um, I think I guess it was the five k. 
I was standing and I was talking to my friend Chris and him and I both have this weird obsession with Sam the Eagle. We love him so much. And Chris is like, oh, look at that guy. He's dressed up like Sam the Eagle. And I got really excited and turned around. I was like, oh, my God, it's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Which that, that was, was a great amazing, amazing costume. costume. Yeah. That was so perfect. Good. And Chris is like, why do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> hey that's the price of fame oh, price of fame. that's it that's it speaking of uh the people that create the price of fame um we're gonna jump into our listener feedback uh we got so much oh, guys right right before we do that one quick show announcement we'll be recording the week of the 30th before that please send in your 2023 goal getters yes because that will be our uh, like kickoff of 2023 episode uh, in February. Give us a little break after Dopey to reset and uh, figure out what our years look like. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <clears throat> send them in before, uh, I would say before the 30th, because I think we're going to record on the 30th. And then that will come out on the 6th. Yeah. So. Goal getters for 2023. Send them on. I in. should go back and listen to last year's goal getter and just see what oh, I God, did. Oh, God, I'm afraid. Like, <laughs> yeah. I um. <laughs> I know there was a weight loss goal that I didn't quite meet. I did do pretty well, but not as well as I wanted to do. <laughs> um, yeah, but your fitness was great. Yeah, yeah you, were, yeah, you yeah. were PRing everything. Yeah. I, uh, on the other hand, know that I didn't meet like probably ninety percent of my goals, but that's okay. Well, you you um, were injured, so I had a lot of struggles last year. It's fine. Um, I know. Before we get jumped into the feedback, too, I I did want to just say that. Um, because we didn't really talk about um, at the end of the episode. Um, I think Tom had started jumping into it and we said we'd save it kind of for the, the, this episode uh, since this is the episode for the people. I know we talked about meeting everyone. I know that I know a ton of people who DNF'd Dopey Mm -hmm. and DNF'd the races, started the races, made decisions not to start the races like I did. um, And, one of the things I just want to say is that, you know, there's a lot of celebration that goes around to all of the finishers, but I really want to take a moment to celebrate the non-finishers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably without crying, but yeah. probably not. Uh- <laughs> well, whether it was like physically during the race or knowing going into the race, that, like like with Donna. Yeah, she Donna, injury, she went in knowing she wasn't going to Played finish. it smart. You know, she had so much fun getting swept. Yeah. Um, she knew she was going to go get swept. Um, my friend Linda, who, you know, didn't know she was going to not be able to finish, but ended up with like a terrible blood blister or something that like, oh, put wow, her out. it was just painful um, and she couldn't keep going. Um, my friend Rebecca, who apparently has a stress fracture in her foot now. I mean, we just have a lot of list- other listeners. I know. Um uh, happily Skinner after ended up with a DNF. There's a lot. I, I I read a lot. And I know that there's a lot of people who, you know, have to m- take some time to mourn that and understand what happened. And, and, but I, I'm proud of every single person who towed the line um, and started and got as far as they did. Yeah. 100%. And even for the people who made the decision to not run at all, um, it was hard being on course. Stop crying. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> no, I'm just, it takes a lot to be able to to listen to your body and listen to even what's going on to you mentally to just say, I'm not going to do that. Like, because mm-hmm. as runners, we don't do that enough. Yeah. And yeah. I think especially that that episode we had where we talked about kind of mental struggles and, and you know, dealing with the ick and, and all of that. Um, hopefully that, that encouraged people to just be like, oh, it's not just me (laughs) that has these feelings. So I'm hoping that, that, that helped a little, but I'm super, super proud of you. Like Tom and I have that conversation a lot. Like, is it worth us being miserable to do this? You know, (laughs) like, (laughs) yeah. And, and you know what? I'm proud of obviously everyone that finished, but I just, I wanted to take a minute to celebrate the people who didn't. Um, and the people who didn't start, yeah, because those people for sure, uh, should be celebrated as well. And just because you, you didn't have, it wasn't your day. doesn't mean your day is either not coming or that you didn't do the best that you could. Yeah. yeah. And that is important to celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Agree. I would, yeah. I mean, to your point, but 
I think no matter what the outcome, you're richer for the experience. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, you you made a you made a decision for you. That's it. You know. Yep. Um, you live to fight another day. So we support absolutely everybody, regardless of the outcome. Yeah. Next time, I recommend everybody record their feelings as they're DNFing, like I did that time in the woods. Oh my god! The, the <laughs> nice. That was the saddest video. Now I'm trying to remember exactly what you said. <laughs> the lonely man in the but woods. I just remember like... being like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> for those who haven't heard it, go back to the Batona 55 episode uh, from 2020. <laughs> One. 2021. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. October, just, November. It, is, it really like is that. the saddest episode <laughs> in the entire universe. Yeah, it was a November race, so it would be like yeah, November, mid November. Yeah. Because it was oh, sad with a, hint of, with a hint of anger as well. Like it was just, <laughs> <laughs> just the anger peppered in. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, on it. that happy note, let's, <laughs> let's jump in. No, I think, Aaron, that was, a, that was a fantastic shout out. I think that's great. Um, so our first bit of feedback is coming from Frumpa, which is hilarious, by the way, because (laughs) our friends, Nikki and Nicole and Scott and Ryan were in the pool one day. And I just assumed they were talking smack about me and Tom, you know, as per usual, they weren't, but they were like talking about like the meetup and apparently met some people in the pool that knew Frumpa. And then they just started calling him (laughs) Frumpa in the pool. Like, so it brought me a lot of joy. (laughs) Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. god! So the only way people know who I'm talking about when I'm like my friend Matt, I'm like, yeah, Frumpa, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because we talk about him on the podcast. So funny. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Frumpa said, "I don't have much other than I still have a love hate relationship with Run Disney. He's going to be mad forever." Also, of <laughs> course, a congratulations to all who ran, especially Tom Stover. And those like him who achieved a new goal to be the first 5K, 10K, half marathoner or any combination of. There you go. Thanks, Thanks, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Matt. I know it was hard for you. It's got to be hard to be so mad at Run Disney and then be like, I guess I should still go down and cheer and (laughs) be bitter. Yeah. (laughs) I would have been. (laughs) Like, if I don't get into Uh, Disneyland, I'm not going. Like... Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. No, I thought about going still oh. to cheer, um, but I've also never been to Disneyland, so mm. I know Frumpa's going to try and get into Disneyland, um, even though he hates running Disney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snarky Snacker says some hot take audio commentary coming your way later, but for now, I'm mad at the castle photographers. <laughs> One is too dark, and the other is overexposed. Can we please teach them how to use their settings on their cameras? <laughs> I have to agree with her, though. My, you can't even tell there's a castle behind me in one of mine. Uh, Lori um, also agreed with her and said half of her castle picture was de- finally decent, and but so overexposed. So, yeah, some of the pictures. I don't know if I saw our castle photos. Did you grab those out of? Yeah. Ours okay? Look, ours look fine. Look, we're, um, <laughs> we're obviously better. Yeah. No, I did a jump shot, and because I think I was wearing a white shirt, the white shirt was just too bright. Mm. Yeah, and, and it so it just on it. Um, made the whole rest of the background um, disappear. Disappear. Gotcha. All right, we got second star Megan. So many, but most relevant here was the well run for Mas- Masketeers being the highest fundraising for American Cancer Society. I love that. Marathon weekend team. Uh, so proud of this team and all the accomplishments leading up to this weekend and touring. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys did so much fundraising. Yeah. We did. We're super proud of the team. Yeah. The whole uh, ACS as a whole raised $230,000. Oh, my so. God. That's great. Yeah, That's amazing. Awesome. <clears throat> all right. Veruca runs the 401. Veruca says. That's cute. There needs to be a better ro- <laughs> route. route than Blizzard Beach. That mile was hot and disheartening for anyone who saw the balloon ladies. It wasn't fun, even with characters and music. Not that I know of a better solution, but twice now it's made me panic. Amen. That was a hellscape. (laughs) And then Lexi Dance Flyer says, 1000% agree. When I saw it, I knew I was going to feel it was going to feel like forever. And then Mimi Running World says, OMG, I totally agree. So we have consensus yes. that some people did not like 
Blizzard. Yeah, Beach. I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. I think we talked about. I like, feel like Michael's the yeah. only person that likes Blizzard. It's fine. I don't particularly like it. I just understand that, that it's a breakup between two road sections. But mm. I, I do agree. Yeah, I. It would be nice to find some other solution. I'd almost wish they brought back. Um, so maybe you did a like I don't know, go up and into Blizzard Beach rather than go around the whole parking lot. If they added. Maybe that little out and back that was over by Animal Kingdom. I don't know what to do. I'm not smart enough to figure yeah. this out. Someone oh, else yeah. Be before better. you go into Animal Kingdom, we used to oh, do that out and back after yeah, yeah, the yeah. poop plant. Yeah. yeah. You would make the right turn, do that out and back. There was mm-hmm. a DJ at the end of that out and, and back. And then go in. And then you went into. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like you're hitting you that little. You could probably little... eliminate it. Yeah. Yeah. That would actually probably eliminate it. You could go down that road far enough to eliminate but it. But the probably. thing about it, I think, it, that, is, that you pointed out, was it breaks up the two long highway streets? It does. Yeah. Yes. This is the problem people don't like take into account. That sec- from coming out of Animal Kingdom to then Hollywood Studios would be all road. And it would be almost like four and just, a half miles of just Of road. just four lane road or whatever. But I don't know. Yeah. People might prefer that to that Blizzard Beach parking lot. People hate that Blizzard Beach I understand. parking lot. Uh, and it's mostly because you see what's coming behind you. I can yeah. totally get it. I could... Also, it's a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. It's just a party. Yeah, let's do let's do better. It's boring as hell. Put something in there that's exciting. Put a circus in there. I don't know. Like have trapeze art. Put the something. Monk- tumble monkeys or whatever. <gasps> that would in there. be amazing. We're, if they put the tumble monkeys like in the guys. middle. <laughs> Someone call Ron Disney. <laughs> Tom's trying to rein us in. I'm, all right. I gotta, <laughs> I'm trying. Let's listen. Let's listen to Amanda's feedback. Okay. All right. Hi, this is Mandy, aka Two Choos and Track Shoes. Um, I love a Run Disney weekend. I just love the energy that surrounds the entire event. Um, but it's been a few years since I was back and just walking into the expo filled me with pure joy. Um, I love meeting new people, talking to them. Can't remember a single one of their names, <laughs> but overall it was a great weekend. Um, but the highlight for me came on Saturday. I want to preface this by saying I am a walker. I've always been a walker. I've completed multiple races just walking. I might include a little slow trot in there every now and again to keep ahead of the sweepers, Um, but that was it. Um, Unfortunately, over the last few years, I've lost some speed. So I knew that I needed to start some run intervals if I didn't want to get swept. And I started that in my training Uh, But I got injured, and per doctor's orders, uh, back to just walking. So most of my training was that, and it was not fast. So uh, race weekend came, 5K, 10K, felt good, enjoyed the sights and sounds. Saturday, I was coming out of Magic Kingdom, and I realized I was only about two minutes ahead of the balloon ladies, and I was struggling And, of course, the negative thoughts Mm. came flooding in. Um, Was convinced that I wasn't going to finish. But uh, I heard the last pace group coming up behind me. My initial thoughts were they're going to pass me. Then after them, the balloon ladies will pass me. And then I'm out of the race. And then I just told myself to shut up. (laughs) My little inner weeny whiny voice needed to stop and I needed to at least try. So once the pace group kept up with me, caught up with me, I, uh, I ran when they said run and I walked when they said run. And sometimes I thought this isn't so bad. And other times I felt like I was going to die, but I did run intervals for almost the whole second half of the race. And I did end up finishing still not the highlight. After the race was done, I was standing in line for Darkwing Duck. And um, just out of nowhere, this thought popped into my head and said, I'm a runner. Oh. Hmm. And for the first time, I actually believed it, which is really, really big. So, no, I'm not a dopey finisher. And that's okay because I am a runner. And I'll be back. Oh. I forgot to say that uh, <laughs> the doctor did clear me 
to start running again awesome. just before marathon weekend. So I wasn't going against doctor's orders when I did those intervals. <laughs> there it is. That is awesome. That yeah. These people are gonna make me cry. I know too they're much. gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. That was a good one. Yes, you are a runner. But there's always those moments that moment we have, right, when you it hits you. Because there's a lot, there's always that period where you don't like, you feel like you're an imposter, right? You don't really feel like you're a real runner. And then suddenly you're like, oh, maybe I am an actual runner. <laughs> so that's an amazing moment. K ran Dopey 2023. First time Dopey here and first time marathon post injury, which mm. I always think is basically a first time marathon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So it was so good to meet those who have been training alongside of me. People I connected with on a daily basis for literally the last seven months. It was amazing feeling because there was time during the training where I was, where I was told I couldn't run for months and had to do physical therapy. Literally Instagram strangers telling me not to give up, to walk the miles, to use a bike and not feel defeated. I'm so thankful I took their advice because I was able to run and finish strong. See? It's amazing. The encouragement matters. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Random internet strangers, I mean, man. Yeah. They are supportive. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Beach Runner 78, our friend Megan, says, I love getting to see friends this weekend and run my last marathon <laughs> with, uh, with Mark. Are you laughing because she says it's her last marathon? Yes. Yeah. I, I laughed in her face when she said that. <laughs> uh, especially running into T. Stover, leaving Animal Kingdom and getting to be a first time marathon monitor. First time marathon or tour guide one last time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. I Mark. very much appreciate you and Mark, but we'll we'll see about that last time marathon. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I I think it I, might be Mark's. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I actually kind of agree. Well, wait until I want to. I can't wait to hear whatever his feedback. Oh yeah, is, yeah. That's I, have, I haven't listened to his actual audio, but I've had conversations yeah. with him. Um, but yeah, I, I give Megan like a year or two off. Like I wouldn't say that she's going to jump right back in, but I feel like she, that bug's going to hit her one day again. She's not the type of person who, who likes to sit still. No, no. Uh, chopper girl, 2010 amazing weekend watching so many of my people can complete their first marathon and dopey dream goals. But I got to say cheering and watching the last marathon runner as she went through Epcot and the Mexico pavilion. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were. She was with me when we were cheering. She was part of uh, my team Margarita crew and uh, we were all sobbing. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emotional moment. Kel RN underscore travels. It was an incredible weekend running for ACS nation. ACS determination which is our ACS team Um, cheering on runners at the half running my first marathon. Love it. So many magical memories made. I don't think I've stopped smiling yet. I loved every sweaty second of it, except for that one pothole where I rolled my ankle. I'm telling (laughs) you. Look at Tom. Tom is just. (laughs) It's, It's treacherous out there. Also, maybe maybe if she'd had a flashlight, Tom. Yeah, Here, yeah. Here's the thing. For the amount of GD money we pay Disney to run these there races, shouldn't be a there shouldn't be one pothole. These are their roads. I do agree. They pay yeah, for yeah. them. They're Florida roads, too. They don't have snow. Like, like come <laughs> there on. There shouldn't be a pothole. Like, <laughs> I agree. Take my res- my registration money. I'll I'll offer it and take that and just fill the and pothole. just fill the pothole. <laughs> like it can only be a couple hundred bucks, right? Can like, we just start a charity to like a pothole charity? Pothole charity, yep. save the ankles. Yep. <laughs> well, I, no, I agree. I hope your ankles fine and congratulations on your first marathon. Yeah. Um, yes. This is awesome. All right, we have a little recording from Angie next. I will run for family. This is Angie and Andrew. Oh, both of them. Um, Sorry. Sorry. We're sitting here a couple days after getting back from Florida. Our legs don't hurt anymore. Um, (laughs) So I guess the first question we ask ourselves is, would we do dopey again? 
And, and, and the answer, I think, is yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I would certainly do it again. Am I going to do it every year? Would I dream of doing a perfect dopey? The answer to all of those questions is a resounding no, yeah. but I, I, I think I would certainly do it. <laughs> and I would do Marathon Weekend again in the future, but I think I would only do Goofy next time mm. around. That's my girl. I don't have to get up yeah. those extra days. Yeah, no, I, I say it, it, it's all or nothing. I'm, if I'm down there, I'm, I'm, I'm down there to collect all the medals. Well, Pokemon style, got to catch them all. Well, I'll, I'll see you with my coffee in the stands <laughs> after the 5K and the 10K yeah. then. Yeah. Um, you know, outside of uh, some shenanigans uh, with our, our flights to get down there in the first place, uh, overall, I think we had a really good experience this time, especially as compared to when we did Springtime Surprise last year uh, and we're trying to do parks every day uh, and uh, fit in. A whole bunch of extra stuff on top of this. Uh, this time, I think we did made much better decisions in giving ourselves some off days when we were uh, trying to get our races in. Yeah, I we had our baby there, and I was breastfeeding that whole. Oh weekend. my god, that's for right. springtime surprise. For springtime surprise. Yeah. Oh, that's so there's, right. there's some TM, TMI for you people. But yeah, so uh, leaving baby with grandparents and going down and doing the races on our own. And giving ourselves some time off was key to, I think, overall happiness and success. Um, you, you know, again, comparing to Springtime Surprise, I think one of the things that let me down a little bit for Marathon Weekend was the fact that uh, I felt like we ended up spending 80% of our time on the uh, across all of the races on the highways yep. in between the parks rather than running through the parks. And I think Springtime Surprise had much more time running around in the parks, which I, I enjoyed. a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I did get to achieve my goal for myself of going on a ride during the marathon. We both got on expedition Everest. Love it. The staff was so great. They were just filling up the single rider line with runners and every, you know, five trains just loading up, you know, the entire thing with runners and sending people through. So I think we probably only lost 10 minutes mm -hmm. off of our marathon time. So it was excellent. Yeah. I mean, so across all of the different races, uh, I think I really enjoyed the, the 5k where uh, we, we walked around with Tom and Diana and uh, a bunch of people, uh, didn't really take that one super seriously, but just had had a good time chatting with folks as we walked through that. Um, the 10K was really fun for us. We both dressed up uh, as uh, characters from the Gargoyles. I was Goliath and Angie was Demona. Um, I think we were the only Gargoyles people there. <laughs> uh, and it was exciting to, to have people recognize us and also get excited about uh, seeing people in those costumes, which... Uh, also, by the way, if you haven't watched Gargoyles in recent history, it holds up. It holds up. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, the, the half was probably my least favorite. Uh, it was cold. And, uh, you know, I ju it just was not not my my favorite thing. Um, but this was my first marathon. And I was really proud of the fact that, uh, you know, my training held up. Um, I, I felt pretty good the entire time. My feet were starting to hurt a little bit at the end, but um, definitely got a little emotional like the last mm -hmm. mile or so uh, and, and uh, finished it out strong. And so it was fun then to, to see Tom and some of the other folks uh, who, who were also doing their first marathon as part of this crazy challenge there. So that was, that was a really special experience for me. Yeah, I was hardly emotional at all my first marathon when I finished but I was choking up like so many points towards the end of the race like mm. when I realized that like you and I were gonna finish when I thought about Tom finishing um it was super cool to be down there and be a part of it yeah and I only let the the balloon ladies get in my head once and that was going into Animal Kingdom when uh, uh they had split a road 
uh, mm. where you had people coming out of it uh, out out the same road as you were going in, and then as we were coming out of uh, out of Animal Kingdom, it 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 had appeared as though there wasn't anyone else going into it, which was wrong. I just I I, I wasn't putting two and two together correctly, um, and so we we had. Uh, sped up more than Angie was <laughs> was probably interested in speeding up for a little bit. But then uh, I saw that there were, in fact, still like miles of people uh, behind us, uh, between us and the balloon ladies, and I, I was able to calm down a little bit after that. They were so far behind us. They were, like, yes. they were pretty close. <laughs> they, were <laughs> they were like an hour behind us. Yep. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody is recovering from their runs. I uh, hope we're going to see a bunch of you guys at Springtime Surprise coming up. <laughs> yep. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Bye. Yeah, because where they're talking about, when you go in, you go in and turn like uh, behind, uh, what is that? Not Harambe, but like the safari area yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. But when you come out, you're coming out by like Everest, you know, Dino Land Everest. So there's just a good section of road there oh, where yeah. you think. People are supposed to be coming the other way, and you're like, oh, where is everybody? Yep. And, and then you're like, oh, there's nobody anywhere. But then you get up to the cones where everybody actually is, you know, because you, you don't come in and out the same same place. So. Oh, I know yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there yeah, is, yeah, the yeah. road is still coned yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So, so in, you think that yeah. you should be able to see people, but and there's no one coming in. There's the gap between you, the yeah, two. Entered, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, gotcha. So it's not until you get back to the actual road part that you realize. Yeah, well, could not until you get back to where people turn in yeah, off yeah. that road. I gotcha. Yeah, it's definitely it could be like a mind f for people who you know. Oh yeah, pushing that limit, you know, and you don't realize it. You're thinking, oh my god, you're where's in the everybody? Of a marathon, so your brain doesn't, it doesn't work correctly. It doesn't yeah. work. You're like yeah. trying to do math in your head. Like yeah, yeah, it's like, like uh, runner's math is like the most everything's out the window. Ever existed. Everything's yeah, out the window. exactly. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, I know they had like a really great weekend, and they even said um that they limited the time in the park but it just even chatting with andy she's like we should have limited it a little bit more <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. just because right. of like how much your feet are but yeah that was great guys thanks yeah all right so some more um feedback that was sent in mb cope one two three four I finished and in an hour later collapsed and was taken to the medical tent for dehydration oh. Oh, Jeez. Oh, I lost my pace at Blizzard Beach. Characters were pretty good all week. We'll train better for being hydrated next time. Definitely hydrate. Oh gosh. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate I think before. That it also takes people surpri- by surprise um, when it starts so cool in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then suddenly the Florida sun hits. And so you think you're hydrating properly for. The fact that it's not that hot out at that moment, mm-hmm. but then if you once you get behind, it's almost impossible to catch back up again. Yeah. Um. So I think that's very smart advice. Um. For training for be better hydrated. Yeah. Um. And to make sure you're starting early, even if you feel like you don't need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I wanted to put in this little comment. I didn't know where to put it in, but um, shout out to Run Disney because they do give a lot of water. Yeah. Oh, and Gatorade stops. Yeah. stops. And yeah. then shout out to my girl Carissa, if you're familiar. Um <laughs> <'cause> she <laughs> she when she was when she was like <laughs> announcing one time, she was like, Oh, by the way, when you're going through the water stops and you get a cup in your hand, like fold it a little bit so it's a little spout. Yeah. Yep. Did you game do that? changer? That's a runner you trick. did that, Tom? Game changer. Oh. Oh, you didn't know about that? That's a game that's like an old runner trick. It's so it doesn't spill. You just yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean look. I'm new to drinking out of cups. <laughs> first, first time we're here, so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Hydration is very important. Hydration and like nutrition as well. Like that was one mm-hmm. of my goals, and I think also that's why I had so much success this year is because I figured out my nutrition. So I definitely think that's a, a game changer. I know we were talking to that Kimberly. Is, that is a game changer like, uh, for figuring sure. out your nutrition. Yeah, Kimberly doesn't eat. And then like Ooh. Nicole said she was forcing her to eat on like the marathon course. And yeah, I know several people who don't. She was like, properly. that's why she feels like trash. Like she <laughs> <laughs> She hasn't had any. Like <laughs> Diana's eat. just calling out all of her friends. That's it. <laughs> like we were, well, right. when we had a conversation about it like afterwards. She's like, you know, 
I just think, and then Nicole gave me a banana and it changed my life. Like, <laughs> hey, I was there. I remember. I was feel there. like I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Uh, Kel's on the run says first dopey and marathon, and I ran for CPR awareness and drowning prevention. Oh, those are awesome. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Uh, Shana dog or Shana dog. I'm not sure. Uh, this was my first Disney race and I ran the marathon. I was incredibly impressed with all the water stops, bio freeze and there, Vaseline. There you go. I didn't chafe at all. I love the music and all the characters. I had a blast. I love the two bananas. <laughs> yes. NYC doesn't do that overall. Very pleased. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everything she just covered is all the things we just talked about. Yeah. So the next one's from um, a friend and coworker of mine, Dean Scannell. Um, he's a huge supporter. I was not there, but enjoyed the updates and lived vicariously through you all. Congrats on your hard work and well-deserved medals. Thanks, Dean. Thanks, Dean. Oh, nice. That was very sweet. Uh, and then Jen R- Rossi. Um, here is me running through the Magic Kingdom after having a having a pretty hard fall where my Garmin's watch face completely shattered. Oof. I met so many kind folks after mile nine that were also running intervals that I ran along with for a section of the course. Yeah, she sent a picture with that that had her broken uh, Garmin. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that is rough. Yeah. All right. Well, we're we, feeling better. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, we got one from, we got some audio from Greg, who of course ran with you guys. What's up, Will Run For family? I just wanted to touch base after Marathon Weekend. I had the pleasure of running with one Tom Stover uh, of Will Run For fame. (laughs) And uh, yeah, we had a great time. Just me, Tom, Diana, Tom making sure we didn't step on any curbs, (laughs) potholes, anything unsafe. (laughs) <laughs> what do you know it our ankles made it 26.2 <laughs> miles so congratulations uh, tom you are a marathoner mm-hmm. um yeah it's been a tough week uh you know recovery um unfortunately got the news that a friend of mine ian passed away after running dopey just a day later. Yeah. Um, surprise and shock for everyone. But uh, the thing I'm trying to take away is just, you know, run, run like it's your last because it might be. Um, smile and hug those you love. Um, so I love you guys and uh, can't wait to see you guys again. Mm, yeah, that's important. Out. Now, I didn't know um, Ian. No. But I know a lot of people did. Yeah, and, yeah, he was uh, a lo- he's a local um, Orlando guy, so he's in uh, in that area uh, and kind of in that community. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people I know uh, knew him. Uh, super sad. Yeah, yes. actually, I Greg had caught some video on when he was doing his because uh, he runs with the GoPro. Yeah, um, and he caught um, them him saying hi to him. So At yeah, the super TTC, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yeah, thanks, Greg. We couldn't have done it without you. I know I couldn't have done it without you. I, I kind of needed you there, um, helping, helping Tom through it. <laughs> so it helps um, having someone who has that level of experience. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And who like the race isn't going to beat them down. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I mean, sorry. Ali right now is like in a full bathing mode yeah, on Aaron's lap. Yeah, he's, he's like, like going to town. <laughs> I can't even get the microphone closer to me anymore. But having someone who's not going to struggle through the distance be able to keep their head and help. It, it, it is a, it is a yeah, big help it was, for sure. It was yeah. a huge help. And he was able to, um, yeah, help me through some stuff on the race course. We got a couple photos together. Um and then both of us were laughing at how fast Tom was walking. Like, I mean, Greg just kept commenting. He's like, he is moving so fast. Yeah, he did say you were an incredibly fast walker. Like, he was like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> like, <laughs> Here's what I'll say about Greg. Right. Greg, you're just a good human. Yeah, he's Everything great. about you is just, like, the best kind of thing. And knowing you is a really 
incredible byproduct of this podcast and running and um you know we can't thank you enough every your whole entire running journey is super inspirational and again you're just a good guy sincerest sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend so we've got another message from emily o'keefe um meeting you all in person was so cool plus meeting other insta runners this is my first in-person dopey and marathon the cheering crowds on main street and along the course were amazing and gave me a big boost Riding Expedition Everest and grabbing a beer at Epcot during the marathon was definitely a highlight. And finishing with friends is the best. Oh, I didn't realize it was like Mm. your first in person. That's amazing. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We had, we saw her quite a bit along the way. Yeah. She's, uh, and I got to cheer her on. She definitely yelled my name a couple times. Love it. I missed her the one time. But yeah, uh, nothing like riding Everest in the middle yeah. of a marathon. There's very it's few true. places you can do something like that. So I, I, they did a really I'm glad great that job. They, that so many people got to do it again this yeah. year because I feel like uh, there was a couple of years where that was sort of missing because even last year, less and less people did it. Yeah, I want to say they did a really great job with attractions this year. Like even adding the ones in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I think so. It, it just. Those little things really mean a lot to these races when you're, you know, you're paying a good price. And that that is what the extra is. Those little things like that, yep. that those memories and fun. 100 percent. All right. Uh, Sandy Began, a oh, longtime friend. Um, she wasn't able to be there, but it was great to see so many friends reuniting. The running community is unlike any other I've experienced. Congrats to Michael, Tom and Diana for completing their races. And to Erin for listening to her body. Amen. Oh, and my hot take, Run Disney, if you're listening, time to up your medal game. I'm tired of reading complaints about the new medals. Oh, yeah. It's the chipping of the medals. It's so much. Like, you pay so much money. Like, get medals that don't chip. Yeah, that's a rough part. The the chipping is... And it's got to cost them so much money because people, like, swap them out and... Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I All emailed um I emailed uh, although I have to send you the response because you have to send it because I'm trying to get a new dopey medal for him. Mm. No, cuz the face chipped right yeah, off. Yeah, his face chipped. Yeah, without even taking it anywhere. Uh Alicia Green, for me the best part was finally getting to meet running friends in person. Mm. Seeing Aaron's cheer squad at Magic Kingdom and in Mexico at Epcot was a boost of energy I needed to continue. I didn't get a chance to meet Tom and Diana in person. However, I did yell, oh, my God, it's Tom from Well Run For, as I saw them at the, in the water station at mile six. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone who ran Marathon Weekend. It was a great weekend of running. I'm surprised they didn't yeah. stop and say hello. Although I am also not good at seeing people on the side of During the races. race, it is tough. Like, yeah, yeah. I will say, yeah. There's a, yeah. It's in Greg's because Greg did a – um. Uh, like an actual video and mm-hmm. Tom saw Lisa and said something and I said was she there? It's like me on camera <laughs> saying it. <laughs> like... <laughs> it's during the race it's just hard. You're not yeah. like fully aware yeah. of so everything I, going on. I apologize. You. I would have loved to have meet, met you in person. <laughs> I could have sworn we did see her like run up to us and kind of pass us mm. on on part of the yeah part of the full like maybe I'm misremembering that, but yeah. I, I could have sworn we did. That's awesome. Like we didn't have a conversation, but like, like she kind of like said hi to us in passing. Yeah, but yeah, she was super sweet. I um, I would next time I would hope I hope that we can get a full conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we got a recording from Jeremy. Hello, this is Jeremy from North Carolina, and I want to start by saying congratulations to everybody who ran any and or all of the events at the Run Disney Marathon weekend. This was my first Run Disney event, and I ran the half marathon. I enjoyed my time running and being able to feel the energy and uh, see all of the characters and listen to the music and all of the fun things on the half marathon run. But one of my favorite memories was crossing into the Magic Kingdom from what was a little bit darker and quieter into this Christmas lit main street lights and all of these people yelling and screaming and just the cool energy as you run down main street and through the magic kingdom. My second uh, memory and moment was finishing the 13.1 miles and being able to see uh, my wife and son uh, over on the side uh, cheering me on. 
it was a great experience and I'm hoping to do more run Disney events in the future. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, that's oh, awesome. awesome. Yeah. I he had that. sent in an email to, uh, um, where he said that he was going to come to the meetup. Uh, and then I guess, um, was a little anxious Did he about chicken it. out? So yeah. We didn't get to, I remember we didn't seeing get that. To meet, yeah. We didn't get, to, well, don't call it, call not him chicken, out and say no, chicken I'm out. I'm not saying Come chicken on. out, but like it's intimidating <laughs> if you're meeting people that you've never met. Yeah. That's a fair point. That is yeah. a fair it's point. not chickening out. That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, but apparently his 11 year old son called him out. Oh, him that's hilarious. Oh. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, I mean, he could have brought the kids. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, but next time, for sure, walk up to us, meet us, and yeah. say hello. We would love to meet you. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. I also just want to say I'm extremely proud that you decided to go down for Marathon Weekend and just be like, I'm just doing one race. Like, this is yeah. fine. <laughs> that's like, so nice. That sounds so nice. It's a great way to do it. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, the four mornings is so hard. Like, why? <laughs> oh, it is. It is. All right, I know Tom's going to read this next one. I just want to say uh, Matt Tracks might be a little too big for our podcast now. Oh, God. Uh, because he got like a an entire segment on Be Our Guest. Oh, my Ooh. God. Podcast uh, marathon recap. I mean, Mike Rahman, like gushing over meeting Matt Tracks. I mean, is he too, like, does he want us to delete this because he's too big for us now? It, or? It, <laughs> hey, look. I mean, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Also, like Mike Rawman is like the mayor of Marathon Weekend. I he saw really him is. everywhere. Everywhere. Like he's like yeah. on video, like he's on the big screen talking to Carissa and everybody, like every race, yeah. dressed yeah. like a hot dog. I, like I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember seeing him so much the last few ones. And then for whatever reason, everywhere I went this weekend, he was there. <laughs> I love him. Oh, and he's so nice. He's so nice. He actually um was a travel agent we used for our honeymoon. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh god. So am I am I reading Matt? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah I just, you know, I went to give him his flowers a little. Absol- absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully we can ride his coattails into additional fame <laughs> and success. <laughs> um, Matt Tracks. Wow, it was everything I wanted it to be and more. The weather was perfect, the races were great, and I saw so many characters. But the best part was all the people I got to meet. Every single runner I met at the expo corrals or at the parks were so friendly and fun to talk to it was also so awesome to meet all of you guys and chat on several different occasions the coolest part of the weekend though was meeting two new friends on the course of the half marathon and then running all 26.2 miles together the next day running oh, is that's awesome. awesome running is better with friends yes that is great i love that that's so cool oh, right. and that's like those kinds of friends are the ones that are like oddly going to be like lifelong friends like you never knew them and then you bond over something like that and you ran 26 miles together like i feel like this friendship isn't just like oh the end of you know this 26.2 bye yeah i feel like those are friends you're gonna have for in some way uh for the rest of your life yeah love it so we've got our friend jennifer hall who um I mean, this is going to come out after this, but I think we're seeing her at a Charm City event this weekend. So we'll see about oh, that. Nice. nice. Um, I'm holding back on my Wednesday Expo thoughts c- because I wasn't there, but several have confirmed, including cast members, the sickening childish behavior that's become the culture for Dolby Wednesday Expo attendees. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's yeah. not we, wrong. We, we t- t- talked extensively about that already. Yep. Um, <laughs> other than that, I had a great weekend, enjoyed my 2023 Ren Disney Marathon weekend experience. It matched up with what I love and have come to know in the past. Minor FOMO with not running the full as I was registered, uh, but it was, but I'm good with my decision to pull out. So yep, there you go. Mm-hmm. That's just Nothing what Aaron was that. talking about. I love how like, and, and Jen was one of those people that basically said, it's not worth my mental health to put myself yeah. through this training. I'm just, I don't yeah. want to do it. And I yeah, love that. Absolutely. That's totally it's fine. so refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so smart. Yeah. I, I, I know like four, four or five people who pulled out for mental health, not because of actual injury. So yeah. like I said, super proud. She's of like you for making those decisions. I want to enjoy the holidays. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right. Jeanette says my husband and I just finished our first marathon, the goofy challenge. Nice. 
I was so excited when I saw Erin in Epcot and was able to grab a picture with her. Yay. Jeanette, send me that picture. Uh, <laughs> the four of you got me through training and finishing the hardest challenge I've ever attempted. Mm -hmm. Your humor and motivation made those hard training days a little easier. I'm so happy I found the podcast, even if it is from a nemesis <laughs> podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you from a very sore and tired first time marathon. Yay, congratulations. That was more like a review. That was but great. But thank you. Yeah, that was great. Um, that was who I was talking about. I knew someone had run up to me and was like, I listened to your podcast. I'm a lurker. I don't talk. Oh, I love yeah, it. So yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, who yeah. it was. Okay. She's like, you're not going to know me. I love it. I love it. I also love that people now think, um, I, I hope people don't think we actually don't get along with them because we do. Like, <laughs> no, I think everyone's in on the good humor of the uh, oh, the nemesis. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get to hear Mark's story of how he's never gonna run a marathon oh, again. God. He definitely is not. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. So I was supposed to be recording this with Megan, but she is now uh, sound asleep and passed out on the couch. <laughs> so you get this one solo. Nice. Uh, Return from Marathon Weekend, the uh, the crazy, ridiculous, amazing shit show that it turns out to be. <laughs> Funny that it always seems to be like the longest, well, it is the longest run weekend for Ron Disney, but it seems like you have the least amount of time. Yeah, Never true. amount That's of true. time to see uh, everybody you want and everything you want to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, you, you leave feeling, it's always good to see the people, but you leave feeling like you'd never spend enough time with everybody you wanted to. So that's always a bummer for Marathon Weekend. Um, to keep it short and sweet, I will uh, say, give you a, a few takeaways and a few of my highlights, and that's it. But uh, number one, the expo behavior. I did not partake <laughs> in the, uh, the merchandise. Uh, I never really do. Uh, it's not something I really care too much about. But I saw pictures and I saw heard stories. I don't know when us as runners have become... Or accepted the the fact that you can just go throwing things on a floor or in a stack and it's okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's kind of it was, looks seems like disgusting behavior to me, and I don't I don't quite understand <laughs> when it became acceptable. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I remember old expos and and things like that. It was never a thing. I don't know where this has become a thing. I don't know if it's entitlement or what it is, but. To see pictures and stuff of just stacks of merchandise on the floor and tables and people just rummaging through stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing to me as a runner. The next thing would be uh, for my takeaway that this is the first time we stayed at Margaritaville this time in a house uh, with eight other people, nine other people. I was kind of nervous about staying off site. It was awesome. Uh, I was nervous about the drive in and traffic and road closures and stuff like that, but. Uh, for marathon weekend to have that hot tub, to have the pool, to have the extra space, mm -hmm. um, and to be able to come and go as you wanted to, as far as like the the races went, and have to wait for a bus, didn't have to worry about the transportation. It was nice to park. It was funny. Megan and I laughed. We had the same exact parking row. It was Discovery fifteen all four days. Oh wow! <laughs> so I don't know if that was just timing on our part or what it was, but we uh, we had the same exact parking row all four days. Uh, for Discovery 15. So it was kind of funny, but definitely I would, for Marathon Weekend especially, I would go back to staying off site and uh, I would tell people that don't be afraid of it. It was great. Um, and again, this uh, Marathon Weekend, you feel like you have no time to see everybody and you it, you feel like you have all the time, but you have no time at all. Mm. So uh, that's it. My, my highlights, um, number one is finished with Thomas. Come on. First time Woo Marathon, first time Dopey. That's awesome. Like it, it really was a, a a pleasure to be able to run with him for his first marathon and finish with him and uh, and spend some time. So I really appreciate that he allowed us to do that and and spend that time with him because that was awesome. We had a good time. Um, it was great to see that he was able to finish. We all know he would. Uh, I think his head was the, his biggest his biggest issue, and and he worked <laughs> through it. So it was great. And uh, there were no tears. There was no there was no sobbing. No, no terrible sobbing. It no, was a, a, no, a thing. There wasn't. <laughs> Um, but if if he was to sob or was to cry, let's just say we've all done it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Like I, I still get emotional now I, and choked up to finish those races. Um, to have all those people there, especially as you get close to the finish, as you're running through Epcot, gets your celebration. It's kind of a realization of everything you've gone through and everything. And and those people at that moment 
are cheering for you. You're the only one there, and it's it's a really cool feeling. Um, and it's it's hard not to to get emotional about it because you know it's 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 hard work. It's it's not easy, and uh, to get that recognition for a little bit is awesome. Um, and then getting a chance to run with Megan, I always I always love that. And if you don't know, Megan and I met on the course mm-hmm. in a, at a half marathon, and every chance I get to run with her and uh, spend a little bit of time and just seeing her love and it's, you know, for, for Disney and Ron Disney and uh, the people that she likes to take pictures and do all the things. And um, it's not always my thing, but it's, it's fun to, <laughs> to get some, spend some time with her and doing that yeah. kind of race with her. Cause it's a, uh, it's always a good time. And then my, my final highlight was, so we got married at Margaritaville and that's where we stayed this trip. So um, Tanya was with us and we got a chance to, uh, the last night after Dopey, we went and had some drinks together at the bar, but we went outside to the to the to the scene of the crime. Oh the, God! Our, oh, the no. spot we got married, and we uh, no, took our Dopey medals pole. with us, and oh. had Tanya stand there with us, and we got our picture taken with Dave. You know the exact spot we got married with the medals and everything, so it was awesome. Um, that was a cool picture for us, and is special for me, and I it was it was something that was a lot of fun. So that was my highlight of the trip, and then. Is it? I know Megan and I both said we have retired from marathons. I'm not not sure. We believe if Mark. that's true or not. I I call bullshit <laughs> because nice, nice. I think Megan is full of it. Um, my my thing is, I told her driving home that as oh, much as I, I said it was done, I can see it's it's neat for me because I'm I'm 45. This was my third dopey, but the 10th anniversary of dopey. It always lines up. So when I turn fifty, it'll be the fifteenth anniversary. Mm. So it's a nice, it's a nice uh, number wise. It, it works out. So I told her I could see myself again when I turn fifty, doing Dopey number four, but really Dopey number fifteen of an anniversary. And I could, I could see myself every once in a while challenging down the road. So I, I might have Shocking. spoken too soon and said I was done. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it all goes. But she says she's done. She swears it. And if she wasn't sound asleep, I'm sure she would defend herself in that. But I think she's still full of shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because if I'm saying I'm full of it, she definitely is full of it. Um, but it was fun. It was, it was so good to see everybody. It was so good to celebrate everybody's finishes. It was awesome to see everybody doing their first races and their first challenges and their first marathons. And it's a, it's always a good time. I wish I could have spent more time with everybody. Yeah. Um, but it was great to see everyone we could, and it was awesome. Until next time, love y'all. Thanks. Oh, yeah, we I, love uh, them. <laughs> I do like the idea of staying at like Margaritaville, where you have the whole house, yeah, a pool, a hot tub. That's probably pretty pretty good setup for those four days if you're doing dopey. Oh yeah, it's real really close by, you know. No, that's I I think that's pretty smart and. Yeah, we just love spending so so much time with them. And when we ran into them, I was so happy. Um, I was like, oh, thank God we've got like some more people with us. And yeah, Mar- Mark started to cry when he saw Tom. <laughs> I'm putting him on blast. Like <laughs> they were both just <laughs> weeping together. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. Also, when he said the scene of the crime, I thought he meant the pool bar where we had a $600 That's what bar I tab. thought. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, the pool bar. Yeah, yeah. I or hot that. tub coffee. A hot yeah. tub coffee. That's the oh, actual scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, the scene of the crime was the kitchen where Frumpa tried to make coffee. Oh, God. That was the real crime all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, we have uh, GB Raps. I flew my wife and daughter in for the marathon. Then I ran right past them on Main Street and never saw them. Yep. <laughs> See, I, it's the worst <laughs> spot. It, I'll it's stand a tough by spot. that. I would, re- yeah, again, in the future, I would recommend Florida Way just because there's not that many people and it's easy for the runners to pull yeah. off to the side. And if you want to actually see them and, and talk to, to them. TTC, you can then get from TTC over to Florida Way. Yes, very quickly. So you can see them twice yeah. if you don't want yeah. to do the Magic Agreed. Kingdom thing. Yeah, because yeah. you can do TTC, walk through Polly and get across the street. And easily. Very easily. And like if the runner wants to stop and talk to you, they can actually just yeah. step off on and the there's, grass. And it's so. like five miles between those two spots. So yep, you have plenty, plenty of, of time, time to yep. walk over there. Yep. So he had a t- 
or had to text my wife and circle back to find them. Worst part is she had a video of me cruising right by yep. and then stopping about 15 feet after them to take a picture with Funny Runner 226.2. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but that's so like. <laughs> that's on brand. <laughs> yeah. Like you're just, especially when you turn on Main Street, your, your brain it's like too much to take it's in. It's too to much. Yeah. And there are too yeah. many people. Like it's just, yeah. you can't see I agree. anybody. Yeah. If you're going to, if you're going to do it and I'm not, I, I shouldn't even repeat this because then they're going to steal my spot. Uh, you got to be with before people turn. Yeah. And don't steal my spot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Next up is Trish Lynn. Um, memorable runs with my dad, accomplishing 48.6 miles, have smiles on our face. Best part was three amigos ride in Mexico and crossing the finish line with a margarita Ooh. in our hands. Oh, that's oh, smart. They did the Mexico nice. ride. That's nice. Awesome. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a great ride to do. I, oh, yeah. Ian and uh, um, who was Ian with? Ian was with Ryan. Uh, Ian and Ryan did uh, that as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They hopped off there. They got their margaritas from me, then stopped put their margaritas down, went into Mexico, did the ride, <laughs> did the ride, came back to get their I love margaritas those. again. That's amazing. That's a great spot. Cool. Uh, Tanya, I forgot to add in my voice memo that one of my favorite parts was having a corral buddy, Mark Avis for the weekend. It was great having a friend to laugh with, sing with and leave at the start uh, to meet up, up at near the finish with everyone else. Thanks for letting me borrow him for a few hours, Saturday and Sunday, Megan. <laughs> yeah, we'll hear her recording last because oh. they are in alphabetical order. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I didn't do a good job of reading some of these, so I didn't realize that was an addition to something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just copy and paste. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I think I jumped ahead, so I think we've got another voice. No, you are right. Oh, was I right? No, no. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, we had Run, Eat, Drink podcast, Amy and Dana. They are not our nemesis. They, <laughs> no. they are our friends. We love them. And I was super excited to see them after the half. Yes. Yeah. We were are just so happy we had a chance to see you. We hope the gifts came in handy for the Sunday for the race day Sunday. They, they gave you guys a uh, sweatbands. Yes, right? I actually used it at the end of the race. I, used, I had it in my pocket. Yeah, I used it the entire race. So I wore Did it you? as intended. Um and yeah. I love it. It works great. So yeah. huh. I actually yeah. went and I grabbed two more of them um, yeah. because my friends Nicole and Nikki said they wanted them. So I have them for Nicole and Nikki. Yeah, Interesting. Well, because you don't have to hold it. It's essentially a sweatband that goes on your hand. Yeah. And you don't have to hold it. It just goes around your hand and then you can just like you can quickly just wipe off. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. Interesting. It, yeah. It was awesome. I know that I've heard them talk about them on their podcast several times, um, but I have never tried to use I one. Mean, so another now. Podcast was better swag. Oh, another <laughs> shocking. So, yeah, shocking. I meant to take a photo of it and I completely forgot, but I uh, I used it the entire race. <laughs> nice. I have it in a pile of laundry, uh, so who knows when I'll see it again. Yep. Okay. Uh, you are all amazing and cheering and crushing cheering and crushing goals. Congrats. Cheering at the weekend was an incredible and emotional experience. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome that they came out to cheer, though. That's yeah, so, so great. Uh, we have Melissa Harrell now, who we uh, saw at the meetup, of course. I will run for family. Um, it's Melissa uh, at M. Harrell on the socials. Um, my favorite memories from race weekend are uh, meeting all the people that I had been friends with uh, on the internet for a couple of years and getting to meet them live in person was amazing, especially my hero, Tom, Aww. host <laughs> of this podcast. <laughs> um, honestly, it was really cool to meet you all and you are all the amazing people that I thought you would be. Oh my goodness. Um, our race plans for Dopey were just to have all the fun and I feel like we did make that happen. We were lucky enough to get on a ride in the half, which, as I've heard, has never happened at Marathon Weekend before. So I feel really, really blessed mm -hmm. to have ridden the carousel during that a half a marathon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we got on a ride during the full as well. Um, we stopped for tons of characters. We just talked to people on course. Mm -hmm did um 
all of the things and it was amazing. Every race um, was more fun than the last and nobody was grumpy at the 2 a.m. wake ups, which (laughs) I was really surprised that I was happy to get up at 2 a.m. and get on the bus by three and um, kind of impressed with myself that I actually made it on first bus uh, most of the time. So um, Marathon Weekend was everything that we hoped it would be. Um, I was so, so glad to meet uh, a friend for life, a stranger that I met through Sparkle Squad um, and roomed with, which was a little bit brave, but also not brave because I know anyone that wears sparkle is amazing. So everything that we hoped for for Marathon Weekend, and I'm looking forward to doing that weekend again. Uh, I don't know if I'll do Dopey again. It's expensive (laughs) and a lot. Um, It was a long time to be away from my family, but um, I definitely will do maybe just one or two of the races so that I can have all the fun again. Um, it was wonderful to meet you all, and thanks for listening to my ramblings. Um, hope everyone gets in to the races that they want in the next year, and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks. Yay. Incredible. Yeah, sh- she stayed with uh, Jessica Garand. Who oh, amazing. They were in the Sparkle Squad looking for a roommate, and Jessica had commented, and I was like, oh, this is a great connection neither of you are psycho that I know of. So <laughs> <laughs> and so it's funny because afterwards I was like, well, I'm really glad it worked out. They're like, yeah, because we would have blamed you if we, if we all hated each other. I was like, oh, cool. I love but it. The three of them all weekend, their pictures were so amazing. They looked like they had the best time together. I'm so glad that they connected. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so yep. fun. I love that. And we talked to them for a long time at the meetup. Yeah, so that was amazing. Sure. Yeah. I was so happy I got to do that. Oh, and the next feedback yeah. is actually from uh, the other one of the, th- yep. the other three. So. so we got Erica, yeah. who is the other part of that trio. Mm-hmm. Uh, just so many moments. I'll try to pick a few. Doing what we tell our kids not to, meeting up with someone we found on the internet. Yep. <laughs> but <laughs> Jessica Garand was the best roomie and run buddy. We had so much fun. Thanks, Aaron, Kathleen, for vouch- vouching for me and Melissa. <laughs> uh, riding the carousel during the half. Riding Triceratops. Spin during the full. Fun. Guys, you didn't do the Wii. Wii! Oh, sorry. Wii! <laughs> uh, mile 19, realizing that it was really happening, and I had a moment on mm. the bridge. Oh, That happens. Everyone has that moment. Everyone mm-hmm. eventually has that moment. At mile 22, when I was heading to infinity and beyond, a.k.a. longer than my longest training run, hitting some kind of runner's high at mile 23, I felt invincible. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, The OG crossing the finish all together. That's what we named ourselves that day. OG run, OG walk. Love it. Uh, Seriously, one of the best weekends I've ever had doing something I never imagined I could, much less would. My only low point, dropping and smashing my phone screen. (gasps) Oh, while waiting Uh. for the bus after the half. Thankfully, it survived to track the full Strava or it didn't happen. <laughs> Love meeting people and making lifelong friends. Oh, that was so that was awesome. awesome. That's a great story. I also love how she made it through the entire half and then dropped it at the bus stop. <laughs> oh, I know. Of all the, yeah, just waiting for the bus at the half. Oh, God. Lisa knits and trains our oh, friend. I also got to talk yeah. to her for a long time at yeah. the meetup. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I did the 5K, 10K, and half marathon and cheered the, the marathon. The 5K and half had some issues, but were still fun. My favorite race was the 10K with a group of Kevins. Mm. We ran mm. intervals, and every time the beeper sounded, we would yell, we would say, Kaka! <laughs> 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 we added a new friend to our flock. Uh, I love how during a Disney race, you make new friends because they are running the same intervals. This time it was at Bella Huerta. Our group was flocking amazing. <laughs> my second favorite thing about this weekend was cheering for the marathon mm. if you haven't done this i highly recommend you try it you won't regret it make some funny signs wear a crazy outfit and make miserable people smile yep <laughs> the will run for meetup was fun especially surprising tom with our custom shirts <laughs> yeah which was my the highlight of my weekend um <laughs> it was so great to meet it was so great getting to meet people you see on the internet in real life I would like to say how amazing I think everyone who participated in this weekend is. 
No matter your pace or what races you finished, you were amazing for showing up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lisa. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Now we have our second Melissa in our block of Melissa's, as we do now in every show. We have a block of Melissa's. Hey, we'll run for it. It's uh, your pal, Melissa, Snarky Snacker, here to give some um, weekend recap updates for you guys. Uh, Some highlights of the weekend. We're doing a little bit of a mini bar crawl, monorail crawl with uh, Aaron and Michael. Uh Um, We started at Trader Sam's, which was super fun. Then we went to... Grand Floridian and met up with Marsha. And then we continued on to Steakhouse 71, where our um, server, Bo, I think his name was Bo, oh, yeah. uh, big fan of the podcast, he says. <laughs> big fan. Uh, that was very enjoyable. The 5K, if you saw two adult women dressed as chipmunks, dressed as Wayne and Garth, yep. that was me and my friend Sarah. Um, possibly one of my favorite costumes I've ever done. Looked amazing. And at the end, the children's choir just happened to be rolling into Bohemian Rhapsody as we walked by. (laughs) So we had an epic, uh, air drum, air guitar concert with them, which was probably one of my favorite things that's happened (laughs) in a Disney race. Uh, lots of strangers have taken some video. So if you're one of those lovely strangers, could you send them to me, please? Um, let's see. 10K, super fun, uh, dressed as the flock of Kevins. We were a very colorful bunch. Uh, did not love the lines for the characters for the 5 and the 10K. Mm. Wasn't wasn't a fan of all that, so we stopped for pretty much nothing. Half, half was great. Um, it felt super empty, good vibe. Uh, got lots of character pictures with um, Aaron um, most of them villains. Uh, not sure how to feel about that. Um, also, I think we insulted the uh, handler for Lotso when we were telling him that we were still mad at him, and because his background was toy jail, uh, oh. he didn't. He was just smiling, you know, because he's, <laughs> um, you know, a character. But the handler was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit upset with us, I think. Oh. <laughs> um, and the marathon. I mean, it's a marathon. It's hard. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is it better when you run with your friends? A million times better. Yeah. Um, I didn't take the chocolate. Everybody told me not to take the chocolate. If you took the chocolate, um, tell everybody how you feel about the chocolate because I heard it's really disgusting and you can't get the taste out of your mouth. I'm not sure. It was dumb. I'm not sure what that's about, but don't take the chocolate. Um, Lots of bananas. Lots and lots and lots of bananas. And volunteers, amazing as always. Love the volunteers. Uh, shout out to the woman at the very end coming into Epcot who was literally like, I am the last person of the water stop. I am the last, the last person you're going to see before you're done. Aww. That's it. <laughs> I appreciated her. And coming into Epcot, my amazing cheer squad. With the margaritas. That's literally the only thing. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. My thing cut me off or it stopped. What? Uh Oh, (laughs) maybe it's making a second note. Um, Margaritas. Always wanted to end with a margarita in my hand. That was literally the goal. And I did. And it was super fun. And that was the tastiest margarita I've ever had in my life. So you can all extrapolate from there your feelings. So hot take time. Photos at the castle one for the half it was in the dark i figured you know flash on us wouldn't be able to see the castle no big deal when we came through during the full perfectly sunny no issues for the love of mickey mouse just change your settings i don't understand why this photo is so washed out i just want a castle photo how hard is that come on people i saw other people who had good photos from the full so it is just Either my photographer or their camera, help them out, please. That's all I'm asking. Anyhow, uh, congrats to everyone who ran anything this weekend. Um, And shout out to Tom because, oh, yeah, fangirling Tom. Also super fun. (laughs) Love you all. Bye. I love her. She's so funny. (laughs) She is the most, one of the most authentic people I've ever met. 
<laughs> I also love her because her, her screen name is Snarky Snacker, and she just comes in hot. She comes in so snarky. <laughs> oh, like, it's so oh, it's... great. It's so great. I love it so much. <laughs> she's a Jersey girl through and through. I don't care that she lives in Florida. She grew up in Jersey. She is from <laughs> originally from my area. She is about as Jersey as we get. Oh, my God. She makes me laugh. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. All right, so we got some feedback from Run Disnerd, um, who Tom is extremely happy and excited to meet in person finally. It's true. <laughs> and he stayed with us for most of the 5K, so that was awesome. All right, uh, Run Disnerd, here are some things I liked and some memories I will take with me. Watching my partner finish her first half marathon, a super proud yeah. moment. Oh, she was awesome. awesome. She was so nice. Uh, getting to meet and run. Okay, we walked with everyone during the 5K, <laughs> even though we lost Tom and Diana somewhere near Canada, eh? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. We yelled and no one stopped. Uh, finishing the full with a PR, even though yeah. it wasn't the time I was shooting for. Still it was great. still pretty stout PR he hit. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, catching up to Tom at Mexico before the finish of the full. Proud of you. Random hot and not so hot takes. I love everyone just giving us the hot takes. <laughs> All right. The weather. People may not agree, but even with the increased humidity on Sunday, I thought the weather was nearly perfect for Florida racing weather. Oh, I, for sure. I don't I think you so can get too. much better. Yeah, I thought it was I, perfect. Yeah. Uh, the crowd spectators. Wow. All weekend long, the energy was through the roof. Thank you, everyone that showed up to cheer. You have no idea how much that helped. Uh, the expo, the virtual queue needs to die a slow and painful death. And the right <laughs> Disney needs to take a hard look at what people really want and make sure they have enough available. Yeah. Rude runners. While the corrals for the full, um, sorry, while in the corral for the full, we watched people yelling at staff and pushing over the barricades to jump corrals because they arrived late. This should never have happened. I actually mm. saw a lot of that. People were talking there about that in the, in the um in the groups and stuff. Yeah, yeah there was um a few videos in some of the groups too because he sent me a link to one that was in uh, a Run Dopey group. Um, I mean it's shameful. Yeah, just like, like I, it's it goes back to like just the entitlement of like even etiquette. at the expo. Like I don't in etiquette. Like I don't understand. And the volunteers are there for a reason. Yeah. Like. I don't rant often, but it that's just shameful. Yeah, yeah. Like I I get being frustrated if your bus was late and then you can't get in your corral, but you can't take it out on the people working the corral. Yeah. No. And you can't knock over barricades. Email run Disney after it and say, Hey, this is what happened. You guys need to fix this. You you can't you can't take it out on the people in the corral. No, and if you like, were late, then you were late. Like yeah. it, it, you it know, it's life. Yeah, it's, it's a life. Race. It's like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It came down to also afterwards, the, it was those same people who got stuck back there that are like pace shaming people, which also is not a really shameful thing. So if you're yeah. a fast runner and you're shaming people who are doing 15, 16 miles, shame on you. Yeah. And first of all, you start off on a giant roadway. Like it, there's plenty of room, even yeah. if you're in the back of a, if you get stuck like two corrals further back because your bus was late and you want to run like a faster pace. Like the road's like a hundred feet wide, for God's sakes. Yeah, it is we apologize. <laughs> yeah, we apologize for interrupting your feedback or anything yeah, yeah, to yeah, have yeah, a little yeah. rant again. Yeah. But no, yeah. like, be careful. Like, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Like, I just don't understand like why people act the way they do. All right. Um, can we please find other '90s songs to play <laughs> other God, than "Dark Tales" and "Eye to Eye"? Once or twice is fine, but 20 times. No, thank you. Yeah, we yeah, were talking about how much they played Powerline, yeah. which yeah. I love, but it was too yeah. much. Yeah. I agree. Um, congrats to everyone who ran, and thank you, everyone that cheered. Speaking of cheering, everyone that was on the boardwalk this weekend gets an extra shout out for bringing the energy. See you in February. So here's the thing about Run Des Nerd. <laughs> God. he's a pretty awesome guy but we had a little bit of a moment like at the margarita stand when we saw you Aaron <laughs> like you know because at that point in the full marathon you're just embattled and like tired and every you know you're on a high yeah, you're then, like a mile-ish from the finish and you're like, like he showed up and like he was like how are you doing I'm like good I'm like how are you doing he's like I'm good and it was like seeing like an old army buddy like <laughs> the day the day after a battle oh like like at a local pub and like, yeah, that was a really nice moment. Shout Aww. out to Run Disnerd because um, 
you're a pretty awesome guy. Yeah. And we're sorry Aww. we lost you at the 5K. We were distracted by Megan Avis. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Uh, <laughs> we have Ian Connor, who I'm going to go ahead and just call him out and say that he is what uh, our friends have lovingly started calling fast holes, like Michael who can run really fast. So he gets to have all the fun, all the fun race courses. Also, how did I not see Ian all weekend? I don't know how I, I missed know. him. I didn't see Ian. I didn't see Brittany. Like, I don't know where mm. I was up my own, whatever. I saw them in the I morning. I did not see them. Yeah. I think I only saw them in the morning. And I'm extremely upset because I love them. So sorry, I miss you, Ian. Uh, he said, this is a reminder was the reminder of why I love running that I needed. Every marathon weekend is about seeing friends. The races are just the excuse we use to get together. After five years away from Run Disney, it was great to see everyone. The marathon was the kick I needed to find the motivation in running again after three up and down years since 2019. I feel that. Yeah. Um, I owe huge thanks to the amazing jazzercising Fab Five Mighty <laughs> Ducks running group, Brittany Carley, Donna and Ryan for mm. a fantastic weekend. And to Erin, Kirsten and the Taylors, Allie, Susanna, Dave, and everyone else that uh, I saw on course or cheering us on. Uh, by the numbers for me, the marathon was one Tonga toast for breakfast from the Polly, mm. one margarita for for the finish. Thank you, Erin and Marsha. Two beers. Thank you to the Taylors and Kristen, or Kirsten. Uh, three rides, 11 character stops, wow. and seven hours and 18 minutes and 58 seconds of fun. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Three rides. I know. Yeah, That's I, awesome. I know that they did Dino. Uh, they must have done Everest. Probably. Yeah. It's probably yeah. Everest, Dino, and then uh, they hopped on uh, the Three Amigos. Oh, yeah. Three Amigos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a smart one to hit. I didn't even think of hitting that one because it's in the building. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So next up, we got Michelle K. Hi, it's Crazy Runner Michelle. Um, I had an amazing time running Dopey with five of my friends from all over the country. They put up with my jet lag, sleep deprived self. Mm. Um, God bless them. I felt like um, this year was a great big Run Disney family reunion um, that we haven't had over the past few years. Um, I hated the wake-ups, but running Dopey allowed me to see so many of my friends throughout the four races and on the course before the race, after the race. Um, one of my most memorable moments was surprising Tom with our matching T-shirts at the meetup. <laughs> uh, my friend Jackie running up with Tonga Toast while I was waiting in line for Hades. Uh, <laughs> fast friends that can run to the Polynesian during the half marathon are the best. Um and timing it just right to get to the Boba stand in Epcot World Showcase at 11 a.m. to make sure I got my Boba tea as I finished the marathon. Um, I'm still on a high from the weekend, um, and I've forgotten how miserable waking up every day at 2 a.m. <laughs> is, and I might have already committed to friends to running Dopey again. Oh, God. Of course she did. Of course. Of course she did. They yeah, also yeah, had a yeah. really cute costume where they were run DMC, but it oh was like God. run Disney. It, it looked awesome. so cute. It's so good. Well, I was at the finish watching when they came in and they started playing uh was it uh, Walk This Way, I yeah, think, right? I love it. And I didn't even know it was Michelle. And then I looked. I was like, oh, my God, it's Michelle. So I had to take your video <laughs> real quick. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's so great. I'm so glad I like we randomly see her. Like, I'm so glad she's East Coast yeah. because we'll see her. Oh, yeah. We see all her the all the time. We see her all the time. She's <laughs> so in our town. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah she's uh, so see. great. Main Street Miles Meg. I just wanted to send you an email, let you know how excited and happy I was to finally meet you at, in person at the finish line runner reunion area for the half marathon day. It was one of the mer many highlights of the weekend. Also, congratulations to all of your varied accomplishments last weekend. You're all such an inspiration to me. Tom, you are a dopey finisher. I never Whoop. had a doubt. Aaron, your injury struggles this year made me feel like I wasn't alone during my ankle surgery and recovery, which is still continuing. During your episodes this fall, you said a few things that really hit home. I have learned so much during this recovery, and you sharing your experience was part of that learning. Thank you. I never thought I would be so proud to start a race and not finish, but I am. I can't believe I was able to tow a start line again. I did the best my body was able to do that day. And I listened to my body and accepted that for that day during my recovery, 
5.767 race miles was all I could do. Most importantly, I did not push my ankle past its ability and send my recovery backward. I participated in our race at my favorite place with my favorite people, and my ankle is no worse than it was when I started. Mission accomplished. Most importantly, my soul feels so full and appreciation mm. for this whole Run Disney family community that I am lucky enough to be part of. I saw some tried and true Run Disney friends who checked in on me regularly these past months. Shout out to Kimmy Runs the World, Jen Sorensen at Runners Without Limits, Amy and Dana, of course, at Run Eat Drink, and new friends like Dawn Be Joyful, mm. uh, Jen Hall. Uh, Rhonda Lee, Emily O'Keefe, and all four of you, thank you for producing such a wonderful podcast. And I hope I get to see you again next week. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. I had a great time hanging out with Amy and Dana for quite a bit and the whole group of them. Um, yeah, I was uh, trying to find you guys. So I didn't get yeah, to talk to them for quite a while. Because yeah, yeah. I kept trying to like find you uh, so I could bring you over to Amy and Dana because they really wanted to I say think you hi guys to you. Were in line yeah. for beer or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't find you. I kept yeah. circling the parking lot trying to find <laughs> yeah. you. So I didn't get to spend as much time. But yeah. she did give me the hugest hug and it was, said thank uh, you for cheering the last finishers at Princess hmm. because she was one of them. Oh, that's awesome. And so that was really sweet. Yeah. And I really enjoyed getting to meet all of them. Well we ran into the the Runs the World ladies mm-hmm. and Jen Sorensen yeah. and uh that whole crew at uh, the after hours party on Monday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Runners without limits. Heather yeah. and Jen, yeah. Jen, and then they were with um, the sisters around the world. It was really fun. Yeah, it was just so nice. Katie. Oh my gosh. There, the though, there was like oh a, my god, like a huge group of. It was yeah. like a big like run Disney Aww. reunion at the after. Well, and the party. park was so empty that we just kept running into each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did like the haunted mansion together. It was like yeah, uh, it was so nice. It was just like the nicest people. Yeah, oh, it's so great. All right, Lisa Schneider. I love this one, by the way. Um, I love how this is done. Lisa says, David Letterman was pretty popular in the 90s, (laughs) and he's from my home state of Indiana, so it seemed appropriate to put my thoughts into a top 10. Oh, my God. It's like, (laughs) this is definitely Tom vibes. This is Tom vibes. (laughs) Top 10 reasons why I loved Marathon Weekend from someone who only ran the half. Number 10. Pre-race character photo ops were different from the classic characters that are normally out for the marathon weekend. This may be a negative for you, but if you were banking on this may be a negative for you if you were banking on that. Mm. Number nine, decent merchandise selection even on Friday afternoon. Mm. Number eight. Okay. Number eight, course congestion was way, way down from wine and dine half from my perspective. Take note, Run Disney. I did agree with that, actually. That was something that Snarky even brought up was that the half marathon never felt like overly yep. congested. I'd agree with that. I would yeah, 100% I agree. agree with yeah. that. And honestly, I know people like there were certain people that didn't get things that they wanted to get at the expo. But I was hearing the same thing, too, that they weren't selling out of certain things until kind of way later on Friday. I know like things like the yeah. dopey ears sold out quick. But that was really one of the only things that I heard that sold out, you know, insanely Fast. quick. Yeah. yeah. Number seven, fun 90s themed music from the DJs on the course. Yeah, I loved that. The DJ near mile marker 12 was on point with Ace of Bases, the sign yep. when I was passing <laughs> by yelling, you know what that sign means? One mile left. It was actually 1.1, but whatever. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, cooler temps. Cooler temps meant that the water and power aid was actually cold. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> this was a negative for the sport beans, however, as they made as this made them very hard. That's yeah, what cold she said. sport beans are like rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, animal crackers in the snack box is a move in yeah. the right direction. But they need to ditch the pretzel sticks and return to the tortilla Thank chips you. to ensure the proper artificial cheese ratios. Thank the you. The cheese is garbage. There's a oh lot of Oh my God, here we the, go. Look. The anti cheese army is rising. Look. Yeah, I, I the cheese is fine. Here's the thing I like animal crackers, and I actually brought all these animal crackers home, and I had a bag of them yesterday, and they tasted weird. Like, are they mm. organic or some healthy I don't nonsense? Know. I liked them, but I only ate them after the race. Yeah, <sighs> I ate them immediately after, too. Yeah. I'll tell you what I don't know great. if I let them sit too long. I don't know. They tasted uh, gross. That's possible. The problem is the pretzels were tasty as a pretzel, but they were not They they were not good for the dip. Can Nothing we, can is we, good with the dip. 
because it's terrible. Oh Look, that's God. not what this is about. We're in, a, we're in the middle of a review. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry about that. The sunflower seeds were great, by the way. The salty ones. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, number four. This was the race weekend where it became evident that jogging Jack Sparrow needs to have his own <laughs> photo op. <laughs> You're missing the bus run, Disney. <laughs> Number three, so running fun. down Main Street, USA. It never gets old, ever. Number two, teacups and the carousel were running during the half. Mm, that was, that's a good one. Yeah, it's yep. a big one. And the number one reason why I loved Marathon Weekend, new friends made o- new friends made and old friends seen on course. Nice. That's a great um, one. Yeah, I, we didn't one. get... To, that's uh, I run for margaritas. We didn't get to see her oh, uh, this okay. weekend. Um, I know some people know screen names better than they know, yes. <laughs> they know or Instagram yes. handles yes. better than it's they true. know names. But yeah, that's uh, I run for margaritas. Uh, we didn't get to see her this time. I saw her the last couple, but uh, we missed out on seeing you. All right. And to close us out, we have Tanya's recording. Let's see what she has. Hey, everybody. It will run for this is Tanya at this Phoenix runs on Instagram. Um, so, I mean, I, I left this last marathon weekend feeling amazing, oh, <laughs> oddly enough. Um, I feel like there's something to the consecutive high mileage that I don't know. My body's just weird, I guess, but I tend to recover pretty well from it. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, compared to Dopey in 2020, I would say this goofy experience this year was, like night and day um Mm. dopey 2020 i finished feeling so defeated um you know they'd they'd cut the course because of the heat so i ended up finishing my miles in the parking lot in the runner's village and it just it was miserable Mm. (laughs) my feet were so blistered i had fallen during the 5k so my knee kept opening up every race it was gross but anyway (laughs) um this last time it was awesome. Um, favorite points were actually being in a, a better corral. So that helped a lot. I got to the castle and it was still dark, got some fun pictures, um, made some character stops. I was able to, you know, do my intervals like the whole time, which was awesome because mm, usually especially during the marathon I get to like mile 16 or 17 and I'm starting to peter out but I felt really strong this time and that was an awesome sensation Aww. um let's see it was really really good to see everybody at the will run for meetup and I am a little bit envious of whoever thought to put um the quote what turns you on on the back of their shirt because I was was kicking myself thinking, why didn't I think of that? That was awesome. Whoever you are, (laughs) I loved it. (laughs) Um, But the meetup was awesome. It was fun to to see everybody and get a big old picture with everybody matching. That was, that was silly and fun. Um, Always good to meet up with the faces that I know and meet some new ones. That was fun. And then, you know, being at the finish of the marathon was awesome. My husband ended up surprising me at the finish. He wasn't going to come at all, or so I thought. Mm. And uh, I can't really blame him. Traffic's bad. But anyway, he (laughs) surprised me at the finish, and that was really exciting and awesome. And getting to see – well, I didn't get to see Tom Cross because they made me keep moving along to get my medal. I was all set up to get video. But anyway, thanks, Run Disney. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but seeing him right after was really fun. And, you know, the, the pride was palpable, um, from everybody in the group. And it, it's just awesome seeing everybody being so positive and cheering each other on, no matter how fast or how slow or miserable you are. Um, and, you know, supportive of the people that maybe decided to back out of some of the races and, <clears throat> you know, do what was best for them. It was really cool that, you know, people were supported the whole way. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I actually got to ride Everest this time and stop for characters and I still PR'd both courses for the half and the full. So I had an awesome weekend. (laughs) That was just the cherry on top. Um, 
of getting to see everybody again. So hopefully it won't be so long this time. It's been a couple of years. But um, yeah, great weekend and good to see everybody. Oh, yes. And we got to hang out with her for a long time after the marathon, which was awesome. And her husband. So it was great to meet him as well. (laughs) Although, no, didn't we meet him somewhere else? The wedding. The wedding. wedding. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, yep, yep. yep, She was the officiant. Yes. Yes. Yep, absolutely. Um, But it was great spending some time with her and, yeah, as usual. I feel like, again, she's another one. It's like I saw everyone and saw no one because I saw her and I talked to her very briefly, but all very briefly. And I don't know. Yeah. And even getting back to what Michael said on the last episode, like they needed to extend the post race party for the marathon a little bit. Like, yeah, even if it was an hour or two, I think it would give people. We would have hung time. out for another couple hours. Yeah, we oh, definitely for sure. Would have. Have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were planning to. Yeah. Oh, thank you, everybody, for all of this fantastic. I loved hearing all the uh, yeah the recordings as well, and I'm really uh, glad everyone kind of made them a little longer and shared yes. like their full experience. I loved that. Yes, then yeah. we got a little little more feel for what everybody did. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um. Yeah, I, this concludes the marathon uh, run Disney stuff for a yes. little while. We apologize to our non-run, non-run. <laughs> Disney uh, fans out there. We know that the last month and a half to two months, uh, more specifically with our our preview, training our and training, and then all that leading up to this was super run Disney heavy. Um, we appreciate all of our run Disney community and all of the people who listen for, in that community, but we also appreciate our non-run Disney people. Yeah. So we will be back to our regularly scheduled program after a runner studio uh, release. And as Michael said, send us your feedback with your goals for 2023. 2023. I guess I should start running again at some point Uh. because I have (laughs) not since we've gotten home. Yeah. I don't think any of, well, Michael pointed out that he has, but um, none of us. I have have a reason that we haven't discussed. So, Uh, well, we'll see whether we discuss that next next episode. I haven't decided yet. I have had the (laughs) Disney crud um, after Disney and I can't breathe properly to be able to run. So. Hopefully that'll go away soon. Yeah, hopefully. Awesome. Anybody else got any any comments? No, everyone did amazing. Yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you all. And yeah, like Aaron said, whether you... Woo! <laughs> wow, we have sound wow, effects look now. That. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> He's been Is waiting. that actual sound from the marathon? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. it's, it's from the marathon. No, it's I live love from the marathon. That. <laughs> He's such a liar. He's lying to you, Diana. Oh, he was so excited to do that. Oh, God. I guess, yeah. I mean, I guess we can go out on a high note. Um, yeah. Thank do you have you. a quote from Ben Franklin? I don't have a quote from Ben Franklin. but Also, like- someone said that they were going to quote something or talk about something, and I wanted to be like, are they going to add Ben Franklin to this because I will die? <laughs> <laughs> I just I mean like I googled <laughs> Disney quotes about friendship Aww. and there's a bunch of them Aww. but like you know the genie says today's special moments are tomorrow's memories um, I've never heard that before pantsless Winnie the Pooh says <laughs> you know and this is how we always feel how lucky is how lucky are we to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard Aww. and it's always like that after these weekends yeah, that's um, true. And then, really, the poignant one, and you know, we we always say we'll run for family. Um, Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. So we are so incredibly proud of everybody that took part in these races, and so fortunate for having seen you or talked to you during the weekend. Um, yeah, we just hope you're all doing well, and I guess for Aaron, Michael, and Diana, this is Tom and. We will talk to you later. Oh, thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. We got this recording uh, just a little bit later than when we recorded, so I wanted to make sure this made it into the episode. Here is Chopper Girl, uh, Kelly, with her feedback. Okay, so I've been saving my Will Run For Marathon recap for today while I was going to do my first walk uh, post-PT where I can add my speed walking in and whatnot. I'm currently in my 10-minute warm-up. Uh, and I just need to let you know that I just got to the portion of the podcast that I knew was coming where Michael just goes off on the cups 
and how roadrunners are disgusting. And it made me laugh. And it also made me think of when I was on the half marathon course and a girl in front of me tore the top off her goo, just dropped it on the ground and kept going. And I remember thinking, what are you doing? Pick that up. Why would you not just pick that up? Come on. Anyway, just sharing. That's all. Bye.